Hi, yeah, this is an example for planarity working. Uh, now, there isn't actually, there's only one exam question on planarity, and that's for failing. So, this is an example for, to, for working. So, first of all, you have to identify um, a Hamiltonian cycle. So, a Hamiltonian cycle goes round once and returns to it because it's everywhere and returns to its start point. That's helpful. So, I'm just going to write that now. So, I went from A to B to D to E to F to G to C to H to A. And I'm going to draw it out as well. So I've got two, four, six, eight, eight edges, uh, vertices, sorry. So A to B to D to E to F to G to C, to H, then back again. So on my diagram, I've done A to B, to D, to E, to F, to G, to C, to H, back to A. So now what I want to do is put all the other edges inside it, and I'm going to list them down the side. So I'm going to start from A, so I've got A to E, so let's change course so you can see it. So A to E, so I'm going to add in A to E. So A B. Then I've got A F. A F. There's nothing else. Oh no, yeah, yeah. There's nothing else there now for my answer. So let's look at B now. So I've got B to H. So B to H. So what's that one? So I'll probably lose that one and go through. Uh, and then I've got B to E. So B to E. And that's everything from B now. Uh, C's got C to F. So C to F I can add in. So C F. That one. And then by the looks of it now, the only one I've not dealt with is D to H. So D to H. And you can put them alphabetical or you can do it left to right or something like that. There. Okay. Right, so I've done all that. So the first thing I do is identify one of them that's the inner. Now I think it's easier if you draw it as you go, then you can see it. Uh, so if I do another little picture at the side here, I'm just going to pause it while I do this, I'm not wasting time. There, so I've done that, so I've drawn that, so I'm going to add in. So A to E, I'm going to make an inner. So A to E, I'm going to make an inner. So I've dealt with now A to E, that's an inner. And I look at what crosses A to E. So if you look, B to H, and D to H cross A to E, but they don't cross each other, so that's okay. So B to H, I'm going to call an outer, so B to H will be an outer, and D to H will be an outer. There. So B to H is going to go around the outside, and does it, uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, B to H, and then D to H is going to be around the outside. So I might just go around that way again as well. There. Okay. Now I'll look at B to H and D to H and see if there's anything else that crosses them. So I've done A to E and said that B to H and D to H cross them. So now I'll look at stuff which crosses those two. So I've got B to E and I've got A to F. So B to E and A to F, they don't cross each other. So that's okay, so I'm going to call them the opposite now. So B to E is going to be an inner, and A to F is going to be an inner. So B to E I've dealt with, and A to F I've dealt with. And they're both going to be inners. So B to E, and A to F it was, wasn't it? A to F there. So now I say, okay, then what's crossing over B to E and A to F? Well, nothing is crossing over B to E or A to F. Uh, so then I look at what's left. So what I've got left now is C to H. And I can call that an inner now. So C to F, sorry. So C to F, I'm going to call it inner. I could have called it an outer really, to be fair. There. But I think it's nice to go back to either the opposite or the opposite inner. So that's it working. If you look, my graph is now isomorphic. Everything. It's not crossing over itself, whereas it fails if you can't do that thing where 
I've got these two crossing over and both cross over each other, so you can't draw that. So then if you look here, all the edges are not, not crossing over each other, so that's fine. So that's me done with that one. So that is, um, what's it called? Go on, planarity working fine. 